Mango Hold on, have you seen the movie Life? You're like floating membrane, and this is exactly it. We're eating a Martian right now. A mango Martian. Okay, recording. Are you ready to act normal? Yes. Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I'm here with my boyfriend Scott. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, <laughs> so today I have a munch pack. I'm just gonna show you this box. Um, so munch pack is um, this website that I think it's like a monthly subscription box. Oh, I should have done my research before this. <laughs> munch pack offered me a box that contains a bunch of cute little snacks from all over the world. And I just think this is going to be the best thing I could have ever gotten in the mail because I've never like really had food sent to me. Like, that's cool. So um, I thought uh, I would try this out with the biggest snacker I know because he's always eating snacks, every single kind of snack. But he loves gummies. So if he if there's any gummies in here, I told him I would give him the majority of them. Let's go get you some scissors. I've been in my. Why do I need? Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's like hardcore tape. Stop it. I can do it, I swear. That's like... Ah! Whew. Wait, can't open. Come here. You just said wait. I said wait because I need you to come here before I open it. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Rodney made this. Rodney made this? Rodney made this. Ronnie. Rod, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> Were you saying Rod? Rodney. Rod. He looks like a Rodney. Yes. But why did you read? It's Rodney in the biggest letters ever. So these are Wild you. onion rope. Okay, wait. The hard bite, handcrafted chips. Um, Crunchy ke kettle chips with a sweet tangy yogurt and onion flavor. I feel like it's gonna have like dairy sprinkles on it. And my yogurt is there. I know. Oh my god. That's honestly that tastes like. Tastes like sour cream and onion. Exactly. It really bothers me because my sister will use Greek yogurt instead of sour cream sometimes. And she won't tell me. And then I'll bite into a burrito, and it'll be like dripping wet, like Greek yogurt. Ew. Um, and she's like, it's almost the same thing. And I'm like, no. Um, from Canada. Oh! Okay. Canadians are good. <laughs> There's a Canadian flag right there. Oh. Yeah, I didn't catch that. Okay, ooh! <laughs> Doritos, flaming spicy flavor. This is a Japanese, Chinese, or subcultural Asian bag of Doritos. Taiwan. Taiwan, wow. I, like you know what's funny? In my head, I thought I'd sound stupid if I was wrong, but I literally looked at this like writing, and I was like, that looks like Taiwanese. I don't even know what Taiwanese looks Just, like. I thought Taiwan was in China. Is that not a thing? I think that there's sub like languages. Is that in China? Or is there a place called Taiwan? Taiwan? Taiwan is a place. In China? Or is it a separate country? I think it's a separate country. Okay. I'm putting on the screen what, which one is right, because I honestly have no idea. Okay. My predicament is that I, I feel like this is just going to taste just like spicy Doritos. Like a... Do you think Plain that you've ever literally tasted this flavor before? I feel like it's going to be very similar to like one of those Plain Hot Cheetos or something. Ooh, let's see. I hope so. I don't know how red they are. Uh, no, that doesn't look red enough like that. It's different. Okay, first of all, we'll see. the texture of like the actual crunch is literally different than like our Doritos. And I've never tasted this flavor. 
Honestly, if I could close my eyes, this would be like, this would be some type of spicy Korean. But it's like not spicy though. It's like. It's spicy, but it's not hot. That's fair. I really like this. Yeah. Umai Bo. Umai Bo. Umai Bo. Premium cheese flavor. Crunchy corn roll flavor. Like. Okay, it, I don't think it's a roll anymore because this is like. Mm. Hapan. It's from Hapan. Japan. Now, is the word premium also premium in Japan? Because everything else on this. Thing, every other word. If it's a, words. I think that it's a. I don't know. Can you open this for me? Sure. You don't get to take a phone break. What the hell? I'm not taking a phone break. I'm checking my stuff. Oh, your your stocks. My stocks. You didn't open it yet. I didn't open it. I was checking my stocks. God. Oh well, that just falls apart. Here. Oh. No. No, that doesn't taste right. My first thought was this is really old expired oh, cheese. Long and <laughs> long and crunchy corn roll flavored like brie cheese. That's not for me. I do like brie. I like the consistency of brie though, not the flavor. It almost melted in your mouth. I was like, I need to try another one. I guess I don't. I think it's more of a texture. I didn't find the flavor that much. The flavor tastes like rotten cheese. <laughs> like it doesn't, it literally tastes like mold to me. Face Twister Sour Candy Dough from China. Oh my god, I know I'm gonna love these. I know exactly what these are. Do. I've had these before, I don't know how. It's probably like something in, in the US similar. Candy, but I like how soft this is because it doesn't stick to your teeth. No, this is not like a soft taffy. This is like a disintegrating gum. Ew. Mm. You see know what I mean? It's like that. Almost like hubba hubba. I feel like I'm just mm -hmm. gonna chew on it forever. That long. As soon as I started chewing it, I was like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I still really enjoy it. It really does look like Play Doh when you pull it apart. No, it feels like Play Doh. But it's sticky. Wow. Wow. Strong palate cleanse. Hi oh. I love high chews. This is Japanese. You. It's, it's, it's from Taiwan. Oh. I'm sorry. This is Taiwan. High chews are literally my favorite. Like, I have them at my house. Have you had grapefruit yet? No, I was about to say no. That's what I have not had, though. Do you like grapefruit? I love grapefruit. Do you? I absolutely despise grapefruit. You seem like that type of basic bitch that would hate it. I don't. It's not sweet. It's sour. How it is sour I love it. for breakfast. Ugh. It wakes me up. That's... <clears throat> These are so good. You're going to like this. Now is this going to be the same kind of texture as that last one? It's chewier. I like this because it doesn't disintegrate and stick to your teeth the same way other things textured this way in the U.S. would be. To me, I feel like it's the contents of, like sugar in ours that's not in these. Yeah, there's 528 calories and 100 grams of this. But I don't know how many grams are in this thing. That seems super high for a candy. Five, you can buy those like anywhere now though. They're that popular. 500 calories. That's really... That's mm -hmm. like a football player sort of kind of game that you got it. Ooh! Uh, lollipop what? Lollipop paletas. Alright, is that yeah, Spanish for lollipop? Pigui slaps mango. It's from Mexico. Thin and foldable mango flower uh, flavored lollipops. What the hell? Is it real mango? 
enforce it a lot? Is it just all the time? This, I think, is something that I cannot imagine existing. I, this is weird for me. This is, oh my god. I'm so happy. Oh my god. You're not allowed to look yet. Okay. You, we can't look at it. I, it's okay. I'm just staring. Let's, let's just share that. Share one. Because there's multiple here. Oh, never mind. Do you want the whole thing yourself? No. Okay. Let's see if we can get it off. Tear it like um, a body wax. Wow, that was super smart. <laughs> Hold on, have you seen the movie Life? The movie Life? There's a movie called Life and it's sci-fi, but it's this, they find like a single cell organism living on Mars. And, um, <laughs> and like it turns into this weird like floating membrane. And this is exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is, we're eating a Martian right now. A mango Martian. <laughs> I'm so struggling. How is this a practical candy? What the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> You're gonna pack this for your kids in their lunchbox and that doesn't make sense. <laughs> there is high fructose corn syrup and sugar. Oh my god! <laughs> it's attacking my mouth! <laughs> it's not even yummy! It's not mango either, it's just a giant thing of sugar. What the hell? No, we're putting, we're putting this away. I'm not okay with that one. We're not on good terms. <laughs> what you doing to us, Ronnie? Wait, I feel like we should be rating these on how much we like the flavor. Okay. 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. This has to be on the far end. These two are on the far end. Mm -hmm. But we'll do that, yeah. We really like these. We have to decide which which of these we liked more. Okay, we'll put this side will be our good side. It's side. like it's like this? Yes. Like a smiley face on your counter. I told my mom you would, that she would really like this piece of furniture, so I was like, I told her I'd take a photo of her for her. Uh -oh. pretty good. Does your mom watch her? I enjoy this, but not as much as these. Um, yeah. Well, if you're watching this video, this is my coffee table. I don't really have the whole thing in frame. I think they can see, like, this much. This is my couch. You can see my couch. Orion Super Sour Candy. Sweet green apple flavored mm -hmm. candy with a super sour flutter. Uh, flavor at the center. center. So I'm South not, Korea. I am not the biggest the sour person, so this is not going to be... You're not even going to try it? Oh, try you better it. try it. I was like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't even do it right now. It's not working right now. These look intimidating. Oh, it's going to be like worse than a warhead. It is, because once you South Korea is pretty extreme with their, like, flavors. Well, my favorite part of the warhead was when you got to the center, it was sweet, and it was like a little reward for going through the pain of the sour. But with this, it's going to be a super sour center, so it'll be more <gasps> sour. So it's like a little fuck you in the end. Yeah. Mmm. Okay, so it's not too bad. It's kind of like a gusher. Do you chew it? Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, my God, it's heaven. It's like the gusher from hell. Exactly. I don't mind the flavor though. Another cool thing is that Munch Pot um, literally will, they'll put like their own label of everything in English and on the back all the nutrition facts and like ingredients and stuff are on the back in English which is important because if someone has an allergy they need to be careful and they can still enjoy this without like taking risks. Those I like more than these but probably less than these. I kind of want to try the drink, get that one out of the way. It's kind of nice and chilled. Yeah. It's probably the fact that this is like tin, right? Oh, it's okay, so it's from ja Japan. I love Japanese. Yeah, I was about to say, oh god, is everything from, from Japan? Which means this isn't from all over the world, it's just from Japan. But then I was like, no, that's absolutely not we've accurate. China, we've got South Korea. Taiwan. Where's the Chinese one? Baby, 
Nothing is from China. It's from Taiwan. China. Oh. Hats. Hada soda. Ramun flavor. Hada soda. Hada soda. Ramun. Hada soda. Ramun. Ramun. Sweet bubblegum like a soda in a bottle can. What? What did you just say? <laughs> Sweet bubblegum like soda in a tall bottle. Sweet bubblegum like soda. So they don't even know what this <gasps> is. This is only like Hasta. soda. <clears throat> so you know I can't really handle... Carbonation? Yeah. How is that? <laughs> what what is the it? hell? <laughs> stop it! Stop it! So am I trying to, why, that is super carbonated. It's still going crazy in there. It, looks, it's, it almost looks like I dropped Mentos into this thing. Oh, I know you did that as a kid. It doesn't taste too much like anything, honestly. Now the rest of the box is gonna be sticky. But I guess it's. It doesn't even seem like there's too much sugar in this, though. There's only four grams of sugar in this entire bottle. Oh, oh this is a serving size five. But still, there's only four grams of sugar in a serving size. Oh my god, baby. Everything is so. Yeah. I should have thought about this. I should have like put that there before. Well, that thing went crazy. Oh, it's not your fault. I just worry about ruining your environment. No, my mom will be furious though. She told me that I have to put coasters on this because she doesn't want the wood to get wet because this is real wood and she made it very stern to me. I don't like it that much because it all it is is like carbonation and I hate carbonation. I know, but it's not like super sugar. I mean, it's less sugary than like a soda, like a Coke or something. Mm -hmm. So where is this going? Mm, I, I like it less, you like it more, we could keep it in the middle for that reason. What is it? No, okay, so yeah, that works good because I still think I like it more than that. This is um, a bourbon chocolate green tea mochi, which is a soft chewy rice ball flavored uh, with green tea and chocolate. So you have to know something about me that, um, Green tea uh, mochi is my favorite mochi, and I'm already a chocoholic, so I'm very, very excited about this because mochis are one of my favorite desserts. Is mochi chocolate? No. Mochi is a rice ball. They're so tiny. Oh, my God. Is there only one? There's more in there, but um, let's open the only one. Um, but I, I personally really, so I think this is bean paste inside but it's like sweet sugary bean paste or something um, because mochis are are like filled with anything else like bourbon mochi so I, I think the middle might be flavored bourbon but um uh, oh, that's chocolate. so my favorite type of mochi is the ice cream mochis but I know this obviously isn't that it's green tea um What did we just do all day? I see why they give you a fork. You do not want to like feel this. This is why does it feel like it feels, a testicle? It, like a baby's testicle? It feels like a baby's testicle. Because uh, it's like really soft and like. So it's a texture thing. Okay. I really like that. I think we can both say because I I love this. I think it tastes okay though. So you can put it okay. On that. Yes. Oh, I don't love that. I just think it's okay. You can't even put that on top of this. Okay. I know people really like those. I'm just a texture thing. That, you know, I'm so glad we're doing this. Woo! Do those first. Whoa. Whoa. This is from Turkey. Man, we really are going all around the world. Today, Goldie's black and white cake. Oh, I'm squeezing it. Soft cocoa sponge cake padded with, or packed with sweet milk cream. Oh god. Sweet milk cream? Mm hmm. They put a cow in there. There's a cow in here. Cow. Excuse me, this is a cow. 
I feel like this is gonna be something like on that aisle. Oh my god. This is gonna be like a ho. Mm-hmm. Do you like hohos? I I like ding dongs. I fucking hate Twinkies. They're horrible. Twinkies have nothing special about them. Have I told you my Twinkie thing? No. So I will buy Twinkies about once a month. And I will Oh you have told me. Yeah, close my eyes and I'll try my best to like enjoy it. Just because I think it's like supposed to be enjoyed. Mm. And I just never can. They're just I'm not a fan of this because I'm not a fan of cake. And the only thing other than the fact that it's cake is that it's there's like milk cream in there and I despise milk. It's chocolate though, which is good, but it's nowhere it's it's below this one. Maybe before this. Like put it here. Do you like it more? I actually really like this. Fine. Okay. No, it's just a chocolate cake. I can get a whole out of store. I don't need to go to the turkey to get one. Here's the last one. This is in This might go all the way over there. I just spent, we spent all night eating like those little Nutella things. I think we need a refresher though, because that was really sweet. And Nutella's not nearly as sweet as regular chocolates. No. Okay, are you ready? I am ready. What happened? Wait, Nutella be ready. Ooh, oh, bready. And that's still pretty cool. Mm. Bready. It looks like a loaf of bread made out of a cracker with Nutella inside. So a crunchy bread shaped wafer filled with sweet Nutella cream. Make sure you open it. He's from Poland. I don't think that's how they say it there, so I'm sorry, guys. I love you all from Poland. Why, why am I trying to open it correctly? There's a special way that says open up like this. You want to do it? God damn. Oh. It's like a, it's like a, um, hold on, before you bite it, to me, this is like a bubblier version of a, um, a Chinese, like, fortune cookie. Well, like, like a American Chinese, you know, fortune cookie. They're not from China, actually. Let's see. Well, I know it's not a wafer, I feel like it's going to be like a inside out Kit Kat, where it's like <laughs> chocolates on the inside. I realized I was biting into it when you weren't ready yet. <laughs> and then I was like, we've been doing this for 40 minutes. Probably. Mm -hmm. See, I just like it because I don't like eating a television spoon. I am Polish. Hot. I'm Swedish. Hi. So, um, just to recap with you guys, uh, the order in which we chose everything, let's start with the worst and end with the best. Our least favorite today was the Mexico, um, mango lollipops. <laughs> the Mexico. <laughs> they are from Mexico. <laughs> that is, that's where they're from. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was like purely just like melted sugar, um, dried and sticky, and then it just attacked your mouth where it would cling to itself and it would cling to your teeth and as you were biting it, it would like shoot to the back of your throat and then like and stick to those teeth and it was insane in, in there. So these might have been my least favorite. Or you they're said, not no, that no, bad no. to you me. You said they're moldy cheap, but you said that they like No, no, they, I don't like the flavor, but I like the crunchiness of them. Like how this was supposed to be a roll, but now it's just, it's it's dust. I feel like even as a roll, it would just be a super messy roll, because you would bite it and it would just like crumble. You know what this is? It's like a more bubbled out version of um, Cheez-Its. See, I was thinking, no, it's not like cheese. It's, it's like a funyun texture. Oh yeah, you're right. You're so much more right than me. Yeah. You win. Thank you. The third least favorite is um. This one is from Japan. It's the Hata Soda Ruin. It's like a bubblegum flavored bottle soda. I hate carbonation, and this is very carbonated. That's why I didn't like it, and he didn't like the flavor once it hit him. So. If you could find a flavor that wasn't bubblegum. 
I think I would really like it though. Mm -hmm. I think it's just because I wasn't you know, so funny? good flavor for soda. Um, it's not really that. It's it's like a very gentle like fizz. It's a lot of fizz, but it's not like yeah. when you put it, it get up to your mouth, it attacks your throat with the carbonation. I like the soda maker. I've ever like made that. I just feel like it's, it's good. I think they were trying to be unique and send us like an interesting flavor. But. I did. I love the flavors and I love the texture so much more than like Laffy Taffy because that I hate. I hate the texture. Oh, and like what's it called? Starburst. I hate Starburst. I like pink yeah, but this is the one from China. That's very interesting. I'm I'm not gonna want this if you want to finish that uh, like at at 9 p.m. tomorrow or tonight. Go ahead and do that. I eat two cookies and a bag of gummies before I go to bed. He does. That's what she's referring to. Yeah. If you want to eat, <laughs> if you want to eat these <laughs> at 9 p.m. tomorrow. We're probably not what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, out of context. That's just so odd. <laughs> That was essentially like a like a like a ding dong. It was like a ding dong. And it was good. Um, so yeah. I don't like cake in general. But how about you? I I liked it because it just yeah it wasn't like anything great, but I just didn't like those, so it was just a bummer. Much. So now are you supposed to cut it with that? Are you supposed to like eat these in pieces? No. They're showing that if we cut it like yeah, this, it, it looks, looks like, like this. That. Okay. So yeah, I mean, they're green tea. I Do guess. you like that? Do you like that flavor? I like the flavor. Um, I don't know what mochi is. So this is a mochi. Is that what that is? is yeah. Anything? Green tea? Or is it no. like the ball? the ball itself so, so there's okay. strawberry mochi there's mango mochi i just the texture gets i'm not a fan of things it's like an oyster or like you know having like a mochi is nothing like an oyster it's like having a muscle in your mouth where it's just like this ball these are the sours yeah so these are the sour ones i think we both thought the general flavor is amazing i didn't really mind the sourness, but it was a very intrusive sour. I didn't mind it either. I actually, I like these way more than I thought I would. What do you call the grill outside? Do you call that the grill or do you call that the barbecue? The grill. You call it the grill. Who the hell calls it the barbecue? It's barbecue. It's a barbecue pit. No, it's not. It's barbecue is a sauce. Oh. BBQ? Like, it's a barbecue? Yes. You're, you're at the barbecue, but the reason why it's barbecue is because you have the grill, which is a barbecue. No, it's not. Okay, so see, a barbecue is you're right. what you grill. You're always right. You're like literally winning so hard right yeah. now. We have the <clears throat> Canadian wild onion and yogurt. So now... Are, but I wanted to ask you, are you an actual fan of like uh, cream and onion? I do. I like sour cream and onion chips. It's not like I'll like buy them myself. I love them. But if they're at like, uh, like I don't know, if they're in a bowl or like a ketchup yeah. or something, I'll sit there and I'll eat them. And so I think I was more concerned because it said yogurt on there. But once you get past the fact that it's yogurt instead of sour cream, it's essentially the same thing. Nothing beats watching sky high waves of the Pacific Ocean crash into the shores of the Long Beach. It's one of the few places where the welcome, the rain. That was intense for a chip <laughs> brand. So these were the Taiwanese high shoe. I am so sorry. For some reason, the camera died right before we like. I don't even remember the last thing that was actually recorded. We said the whole outro. We did a really amazing job at it too. Stay epic. I stole it. Okay, yeah, we already went through this. He had no idea that this was my outro. And I was like, but we've done outros together already so far. I've done like one. I've heard you say it, but I wasn't sure if you were just being like. That's my thing. Yeah. I made that up. Bye, everybody. <laughs>
So sorry that we couldn't provide you with like the correct outro. Definitely check it out in the description if you wanted to do this yourself. Um, I love snacks. Scott loves snacks. So yeah. Bye everyone. Stay epic everyone. Love you guys. Bye. That's me covering up the camera, but I'm too far away.